You would think that buying a TV stand would be pretty straightforward, but there are actually several considerations you'll want to keep in mind that range beyond simple style and color. Here's everything that you need to look for when selecting your new TV's throne. First, you need to ask yourself, can it accommodate all of your equipment? You may have an AV receiver, Blu-ray player, center channel speaker, and even more boxes that must be stored under the TV. Be certain there's ample room for all devices, including some breathing room to dissipate heat. And don't forget storage for DVDs, Blu-rays, and other media. You also want to think about cable management. TV stands with closed backs keep cable clutter out of sight, but you're going to need enough amply sized holes for wire management. You can minimize the need for extra large holes by using thin cables where possible, but speaker wire tends to take up a lot of space, so plan ahead. Open-backed TV stands place little restriction on wiring up your system, but they also show all the wires. If you go with this style, plan to zip tie your way to orderly cable management. Another consideration is whether you need to see your equipment. Most electronics still use infrared eyes to receive remote control signals. Rather than having to open doors every time you watch TV, consider a stand with darkened glass doors which lets that remote signal through. Otherwise, you may need to invest in something called an infrared repeater. Is this stand going to be big enough and strong enough? Make sure the top of the TV stand is deep and wide enough to hold your TV. And keep in mind that you may change TVs down the road, so you might need a little bit more room later. Are you interested in mounting your TV to the stand? Some stands offer a mounting bracket so that it appears the TV is floating above your equipment. These stands minimize the need for surface area and can be much smaller than conventional entertainment centers. Are you converting a wall-mounted TV to one that will sit on furniture, but maybe you lost the stand or legs that came in the box? There are universal TV stands that attach to the Visa mounting holes on the back of the TV to sort out that problem. There you have it. Once you've decided what style stand is best for you, remember to keep all of your equipment in mind, plan on managing cable, and make sure that you're getting a big enough and strong enough stand to handle all your gear.